All right, I got the exhaust system on there finally. It's all finished up. There's the header pipes bent into shape and the collector that I made, which was a big pain. <laughs> That's stainless steel, the collector, and uh, the tailpipe. Uh, the tailpipe has, is a separate piece. It's held on with these two springs. Uh, that I can put on after the cowl is on because otherwise the cowl wouldn't fit past the tailpipe is the only way I could um, make it long enough and still have the cowl be able to get on there. So yeah. That's what it looks like. These are silicone uh, pieces that they gave me with these uh, these pipes here. And uh, I bought these clamps Pep Boys, believe it or not, they're just seven eighths inch, seven eighths inch clamps, spring clamps for hoses. So it looks like it's gonna work. I'm pretty psyched. It was it was a big pain, but I think the end result's gonna be pretty good. The reason I had them all go into one pipe and exit through one side is because. The turbo Cessna, the turbo Skylane has uh, a single exhaust for the turbo version. The regular non-turbo Cessna 182 has two, you know, pipes, one on each side, but the turbo has the the one. So I wanted to make it as close to the TC turbo Cessna as possible. So that's why I made the single pipe and it actually worked out good because now the second hole for the exhaust that they have on the uh, cowl I used for the uh, the drain hose for the fuel system and this is the breather hose, the clear one. It's just going to have, you know, exhaust or crankcase fumes coming out there. And then when I fill the tank I can use this one to hook a hose up and whatever overflows can go back into my fuel tank for the... Uh, you know, my gas can, I should say. So, yeah, it worked out really good. I'm psyched. So, you could see the steering servo and the rest of the engine.